You don't have to search very far to find upsetting news about Haiti. Stories about cholera, deforestation, poverty, riots, political graft, food shortages, and natural disasters are easy to find. And Haiti does indeed have plenty of intractable problems. But good news in Haiti is woefully underreported and the country's remarkable history is too easily forgotten. Here are some good things about Haiti which are generally not discussed. Number 10. The most mountainous country in the Caribbean. Haiti comes from the word Aeti meaning land of mountains. This name was given by the original inhabitants of the island, the Taino people. Haiti's mountain peaks reach over 8,000 feet. In the northern hills, there is the Sans Souci Palace, which towers high on the mountaintops above. This crumbling palatial complex was once the home of Henry Christophe, the Haitian king. Number 9. Beautiful beaches, millions of tourists flock to other Caribbean countries every year to soak up the sun on beautiful beaches. Haiti has plenty of beautiful beaches with number of diving and snorkeling opportunities. Those willing to forego a few amenities and get off the beaten path will have a great chance to enjoy the increasingly hard to find pleasures of a tranquil, empty stretch of beach on this planet. Jadmal is a beautiful beach on south coast which is famous to buy art pieces. Jalay Beach in Haiti is best known for the rambunctious Meringue Music Festival that erupts between its lawns and beaches each year. Number 8. Tourism Industry in Haiti Nearly a million tourists visit Haiti by cruise ship and lodge at Labadee on the northern coast of Haiti. Haiti has much to offer through its landscape and culture. You can go for hiking in the Fursi Forest which is famous for their pine forests, wooded trails, and breathtaking panoramas. You can cool off in the bus in blue. You would be surprised to see the glimmering plunge pools here. If you want visit museum when in Haiti, go to Musée du Pantheon National Haitien. Number 7. Mackay National Park for Biodiversity Conservation. The country has 5,600 plant species living in the nine life zones from sea levels to mountain tops. Haiti is also home to endangered mammal species, including the Haitian solenodon. There are 12 biodiversity hotspots in Haiti. Mackay National Park is the largest biodiversity hotspot in Haiti. Over 900 species of flora including 123 orchid species grow here. It also houses the world's largest population of endangered species, notably endemic birds and amphibians. Must visit this beautiful biodiversity site while you are in Haiti. Number 6. Natural Wonders. Within its endlessly folded landscape are hidden some of Haiti's most beautiful natural wonders. This is a country rich in waterfalls, many of which offer not just spectacle but great places to swim and picnic. From most beautiful waterfalls to lush green jungle to explore, Haiti has many natural wonders to surprise you. Close to Port Salut, you can also explore the spooky caves of Grotte Marie Jean. Number 5. Busy and Beautiful Cities Haiti has wonderful cities. Port-au-Prince is a loud and hectic city in Haiti. Its two biggest attractions are the National Museum, Musée du Pantheon National, also known as Mupana, and the Marquet d'Effer. Mupana holds items from Haiti's history, from the anchor of one of Christopher Columbus's flagships to memorabilia from Papa Doc Duvalier. The Marquet d'Effer is a bright Asian-influenced structure holding a busy market, where you can shop everything. Number 4. Discover the flavors of Haitian cuisine. While you explore the island, you should not miss out on any opportunity to try traditional Haitian foods. The cuisine of Haiti is heavily influenced by African traditions and tends to be very hearty and meat-centric. One you'll see in just about every restaurant bouillon, a beef stew made with meat and other vegetables. The national dish is griot, fried pork that has been marinated in a slightly sweet and sour sauce. Number 3. Get the fantastic view of the Sot Matherine Waterfall. Claiming its fame as Haiti's largest waterfall is the Sot Matherine Waterfall, pouring its sparkling waters into an emerald green lake amidst a wealth of exotic flora. You can take a dip in the refreshing waters, just sit back and enjoy the splendid views or soak in the serenity of the area. If you're the adventurous kind, you can even dive down from the top. Although, do note that the Haitian authorities use the waterfall for generating electricity, 
so there's a very good chance you may not find any waterfall due to the draining. It's just a matter of luck. There's also a restaurant just a short distance from the falls where you can head for a bite. Number 2. The Artistic Village of Noyles. If you're vacationing with an art lover or you are one yourself, do remember to head up to the Artistic Village of Noyles. Lying within the Cory de Bocquets commune, it is in this small village where you'll find some of the most exquisite ironwork sculptures. Made out of scrap metal from oil drums, these pieces are as much a work of art as they are a masterpiece of craftsmanship. Ranging from small keepsakes to large statement pieces, you'll find them all here. Plus, you won't even get a chance to try your hand at the skill. Number 1. Wander around Cap Haitian. On the northern coast of Haiti is Cap Haitian, a small commune and home to various interesting activities that you can indulge in. Once the Paris of the Antilles, Cap Haitian is best explored on foot. It is known among the locals as Le Cap, and each of its streets are dotted with pretty-looking houses and buildings that travelers find hugely striking. Plus, Notre Dame de l'Assomption, Iron Market and Le Cap Restaurant are all in Cap Haitian, so plan your trip in a way that you can check out all the places. Please share your views about this video in the comment section. Do hit the notification bell for more interesting videos from around the world. We at Fine Travel carry out a lot of research and talk to officials, residents and travel guides to give you information that is true and accurate to help you find the best locations in the world where you can settle or visit. We are committed to providing you with the best possible information about pros and cons of different places around the world, so you can make an informed and sensible choice about where to reside or settle. Thanks for watching. Eat, sleep, travel, and stay calm.